Life before stable blade was a headache. Uh, you know, you're going along great and everything's going fine till you hit a rough patch and you'll bounce and you bounce and, and you gotta manually take yourself out of it. And by the time you do that, you've, you've got damage behind you on the road. You've got washboards, you've got wasted material, you've got more work that you have to back up and fix. With the stable blade on the 12M3, I, don't, I think it's saving you time. You can get down the road and you're not, you're not gouging it. You know, you're not gouging that road. You're not bouncing down the road. And if you are, if it does bounce, it's gonna take you out of it. You're getting production done. There is no rework to it. You don't have to back up. You don't have to fix any washboards. You know, you don't. There's no rework. If you look at amount of work done compared to fuel burned, yeah, you're, you're way ahead. You are ahead and no, no doubt about it, you're ahead. We've got a lot of rock ledges that stick out of the road and whenever you'd hit them before you had to be on your your control and back off the throttle and this way whenever you hit it it just drops your power down your uh, and then it comes right back you don't get any of that washboard effect out of it and as soon as your your blade gets stable again i guess that's why they call it stable blade but as soon as it gets smooth it just picks right back up and you're gone it was set on 60 whenever i got it and now i'm just running down at 20. it just does it so quick you get maybe one bounce and that's it and uh, you're not forward and backwards cleaning it up and uh, you know it it works good I've had stable blade now since about March. Uh, we had 120 M's before this, which did not have it. Um, I have it now and I really enjoy it. It's, it's a great feature. My roads, they don't have all them washboards. It seems like every time you get going down the road, the machine wants to start bouncing on you right away. And uh, by the time I react to it, try to get it slowed down, I've got to back up and recut that section out because the bumps were already in there. You set your cruise, you go down the road, and if it senses any sort of bumps or anything, it'll slow you down, get you through them, speed you back up to your cruise speed, and just keep going. It's, it's the best feature I've noticed in the cat graders right now. You can set the sensitivity for whatever uh, type of operator you are. I usually run mine about a little over halfway, and it's just been a great feature. I think my roads have improved. Uh, everything about it. I just like it.